once you have your clay and you know what you're doing for your designs, you'll be ready to start. I'm going to post a rubric on Monday more specifically. But what you need to do first is get some handles created. So you pull off small amounts and start shaping basic handle shapes. Okay, and you're going to need at least five. My suggestion is to create a few extra so that you have them on hand just in case. And you can always just choose to fire the very best ones. And also if you mess up, then you can um, just take one of your other handles and carve on that one. That one. One of them, remember, is to cast with. So this was an example that I showed for, for sting. So you don't want it to get too hard. You want to leave it out for a little bit so that it's not super soft, but don't let it get leather hard because you're going to be pushing something into that one. So this was my casted one. Pushed a bead in to make the, this design. I'm going to set that aside. One of them is going to have letters because it is your signature stamp. Now, it's really important that your letter is backwards on your stamp. Otherwise, um, it's going to be backwards on your piece of pottery, which you do not want. So here's the letter R. I got it on here backwards. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can use this technique for any shape or design that you want to as well, in case you don't want to just go in and start carving on your stamp. So I have a piece of clay here that I'm going to make into a stamp. It's kind of like a little rectangular prism. And it is not leather hard yet. I could still squish it and shape it, but it's not super wet either. It's I've le left it out for about 20 or 30 minutes. I made sure that this edge is nice and flat. So I have a piece of scrap paper. This is just some computer paper that I cut up. I'm going to place the stamp on there and trace around it just to make sure that I'm drawing my letter so that it will fit. I don't want to make it to be too big or too small. Now I'm going to pick a letter that I definitely need to be going the right way. So I'm going to do a J for my last name. I want a J to be going in the right direction. So I'm going to draw it out and take your time to make the drawing really nice. Okay, so that it looks good on your stamp. So I'm making a block J. Now I'm going to go over that so you can actually see it. The only trick is that you have to have to have a double marker. So a little Crayola marker is fine or even a water-based pen. It has to be water-based though. I'm going to trace around a letter. Okay, so there's my J. Next thing is I'm going to take my stamp and this is still a little bit wet, but I need to take just a tiny amount of water. So I just have it on my finger here, put it on this stamp, get a little bit wet, not a ton. In fact, I'm going to blot some of that off. Take my, my water-based um, J, push my stamp on there, press, it's going to stick to the clay. I turn it over, you can sort of see it's very faint. I'm going to press, make sure it's all adhered, and voila, magic. I got my J on there. Now if it messes up or doesn't look very good, it's just water-based marker, you can just wipe it off or cut it and then reshape that and try it again. But I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then my next step would be to carve it. If you don't have a pin tool or something to start carving, just using a pencil or a toothpick or anything will work. Okay, so my next step would be to carve around this J. If you have any questions, please send me an email or write a comment. Have fun!